This is Amanda Irvin here with Coach Kelly Nicholson. Coach, the All-Star selections are out. The Firebirds have five representatives with David Fletcher at starting at second, David Thompson, DH, and then the pitchers, Colton Mahoney, Nathan Bannister, and Riley Hovis, as well as Bobby Dalbeck in the Home Run Derby. What can you say about all of these players getting selected? Well, uh, going to be Mr. Obvious here. They all. I thought are super, super deserving. Uh, they've all had good summers so far, and I thought each and every one of those guys was kind of slam dunks for that team, and I'm really proud, and I'm really happy, and I'm uh, excited that they're going to get a experience the All-Star game next Sunday, I guess. How much does this selection mean for the players in such a competitive league being? Well, I don't want to put words in their mouths. It, obviously, they could tell you what it means to them, but I'm sure they're really proud and honored and excited to be part of the All-Star experience. It's uh, I think it's pretty humbling when you're selected as an all-star in the best summer league in the country. So I think they'd probably feel the same way. Can you talk some about the selection process this morning and with such a competitive team that you've had this year, if there were any glaring let-offs for you? Well, I don't know if there are any glaring let-offs. There are always guys that are could have made that team from all of the other four teams in the East that didn't. I, I thought Mitch Tolman could have been on that team. Um, but hey, it is what it is, and I think at every level, you know, there's going to be guys that get left off that are deserving. So um, I, don't, I thought the team was, you know, fairly selected. We put a lot of effort and energy into it, and uh, we looked at numbers, and we all get along really well in the East. All of us, all of the managers get along really well, and uh, it was a pretty smooth process this morning. Okay, and the pitching staff has been all-star caliber, speaking of one of the pitchers, Trent Thornton, is now no longer with the team, heading back home. Can you talk about what he was like to have and how you'll fill his void in the rotation? Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to fill that void with you know losing a guy like Trent. Um, Trent Thornton a, is a reason that you continue to coach this game. He's, uh, I hope he's watching this. He said he was going to watch. He, he sent a text that I can't repeat what he said. Hi, Thorny, out there if you're watching tonight. Uh, he's super competitive and he's super committed. Uh, it's why he's one of the top pitchers, not only in this league, but in, in the country. Um, his work ethic is off the chart. He's personable. He's mature. Uh, I, I'm going to really, really miss being around Trent and uh, want to wish him all the best. Uh, you know, next spring at, at North Carolina and this, you know, this time next summer, he's probably going to be, not probably, he's going to be pro pitching professionally somewhere. And, uh, if that doesn't work out, Thorny, you know you got a place to play next summer here in Orleans. Okay, and now the team on a five-game road trip. What are you hoping uh, to see from the team, keeping the momentum going? Well, I just hope we continue to play as boring as it may sound. We just want to play well pitch by pitch, inning by inning. Um, not look not look too far ahead. I didn't know we had five road games in a row. I didn't was unaware of that. I. I didn't. I just realized today who we play tomorrow. So we just want to worry about the present. We can't control what happened in the past and can't control what's going to happen. We can control the moment, and that's what we're going to try to do the rest of the season. Okay. Again, this is Amanda Irvin reporting for the Orleans Firebirds. Thanks, Coach. You bet, Amanda. Anytime.